Hello, everyone, um, or should I say good afternoon, um, good evening, wherever you are or wherever you may be. Um, I have a little rant that I need to get off my chest, but before I do that, I would like to say thank you to everyone that supported me on World Sickle Cell Day. Um, I appreciate you coming out to my event. Um, even if you did not come out, uh, I thank you just for supporting me in anything that I do when it comes to sickle cell. Thank you for having my back for those that were here, those that weren't there, and those that wanted to be there but couldn't be there. Okay, um, now that is out the way. Let's get on to what I need to talk about. During this video, I may lose uh, some friends in my sickle cell community, or I just may lose some friends, period. But if that is so, then oh well. Know that I still love you because you're still my brother and sister, you know, through blood or whatever. Um, but I just need to get this off my chest. First of all, sicklers, those that are in the sickle cell community, we are always talking about or fussing about we need to break the silence when it comes to sickle cell. I have noticed there are plenty outlets for us to break the silence. There are many things for us that we could do. Uh, to help break the silence, to help get sickle cell out there, or help to get the awareness of sickle cell out there. Uh, as far as educating others that don't know anything about sickle cell, or even just talking about it. I know um, one outlet for sure, which I have been on there, and I, I thank him for allowing me to be on there, is uh, on WDC Radio. Um, that is one big outlet for us to be able to go on and tell our sickle story to tell what we go through, let others know what we go through, how we deal with sickle cell, what we have to deal with when it comes to sickle cell. But I've noticed that a lot of us choose not to use that outlet. Now, you have every right to choose whichever outlet you want to, to spread awareness about sickle cell or to break the sickle silence. But I will say this, there are a lot of us I'm not even going to say us because I try to do my part. It may not be, my part may not be what you think I should be doing, but I try to do my part as far as breaking the silence when it comes to sickle cell. But I see a lot of us complaining about nobody knows about sickle cell or so, so many people are so un uneducated about sickle cell or we're not doing this, so we're not getting help for this, we're not getting help for that. But when you say those types of things, are you asking yourself, well, what am I doing to help break that silence? What am I doing to help get awareness out there? What am I doing to have somebody else to come in and help us? Are you doing anything? Because honestly, some of you that I see fussing, I don't see you doing anything, to be honest. But again, that's your business. But my thing is, if you're going to fuss about it, at least be doing something about it also. Don't just fuss just to be fussing. Because guess what? We're not going to get anything handed to us. We first have to do the part. As you can see, nobody is handing anything to us. We have to do it all on our own. But if you're not doing anything, then please, please, please don't fuss about it. WC, WDC Radio is out there for us to go and tell our sickle story, to share our journey with everyone else. Those that doesn't know about sickle cell, those that don't know about sickle cell, but we all don't go through the same thing at the same time. So we all can learn something from each other, whether we have sickle cell or not. We all can learn something. And that is one big outlet for us to use. And nobody, or should I say, I'm not going to say nobody, a lot of people are not using it. It doesn't make any sense that he has to come every single day or every other week and say, well, I need somebody to, you know, come and come and tell their sickle story. But then he has to post it three or four different times and nobody's running up to say, oh, I want to be on your show so I can tell my story. Guess what? Go on the show. Tell your story. It's that easy. It's not hard at all. Now, I will admit, it is kind of intimidating, intimidating at times <laughs> because, and that's just me because I don't really like to speak out uh, to people. I, I, I get embarrassed at times. I don't know why, but that's just me. I'm just not a public speaker or whatever. And even though it's not in public, people are still hearing what I'm saying. So it's, it's kind of hard for me, even though I know you're probably saying, well, you're doing this, but still it's different. But that's an outlet for us to use. Please, I'm begging you, go and use it. it. It's not that hard. I mean, he doesn't ask questions that you can't answer, you know. And if he will let me, he will tell you if you don't feel like sharing that part of your story, you don't have to. But I'm just saying that's an outlet to use. Go and use it. I think it's a very great outlet 
for us to be able to tell our sickle story or to share our sickle story with everybody else. Now, again, that's a good way to break the silence. Okay, that's one rant out the way. Now, another issue I have. This thing we call advocacy. Okay. Everybody has a way that they can advocate for sickle cell. For one, this is not a race. What you do, the next person may not do. Or how you advocate, the next person may not be able to advocate. Sorry about that. Okay. The way you advocate, the next person may not be able to advocate. The way I advocate, the next person may not be able to advocate. But I will say this. Whatever you can do, however you can advocate, do your part. But know that this is not a race. You're not trying to beat this organization doing this for sickle cell. You're not trying to beat that organization for doing that in sickle cell. Let's not hear, oh, well, my organization did this and your organization didn't do this. And my organization, come on, really? I mean, is it really that serious? Are you getting a ribbon because you was able to do this and the next person wasn't able to do that? No, you're not. This journey we call sickle cell is not a race. Putting the word out there about sickle cell shouldn't be a race. Our life is not a race. I mean, is, is, is it that serious? You have to say, oh, well, I was able to accomplish this and this person wasn't able to accomplish that. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. It makes no sense at all. Me personally, my so-called, or should I say, what I am doing to advocate for sickle cell, I may not be able to do or get to the limit of what bold lips for sickle cell is able to do or to be able to do what... uh no pain in the playroom is able to do or to be able to do what so-and-so is doing. I may not be able to get to that point as quick as they did, but guess what? I am doing my part. I am advocating. I am doing something to help get the word out. I am not in a race. It is not a competition to me. I am doing what I need to do. Everybody else can do what they want to do. Now, I am very proud of what they're doing. I am very proud of what any organization or team is doing for sickle cell i think everybody is doing a wonderful job i really do but i'm just saying and no they haven't said anything before anybody goes spreading rumors no they haven't said anything about they're doing this and the next person is not doing whatever no i'm just using them as an example because they are a team they are an organization but i'm just saying it's not a big deal so what you post videos good job so what? You go out and hand out flyers. Good job. That is your outlet. That is the way that you advocate. I'm happy for you. But it shouldn't be a race because this person was not able to do what you did back three years ago. It shouldn't be a race. Wow. You did so and so. Guess what? We're happy for you. We thank you. I thank you. Whatever it was you was able to do. I thank you. Even if I couldn't do it, even if I'm never able to do it, I still thank you because guess what? It was for sickle cell. Sickle cell is bigger than me. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than the next person. What we do for sickle cell should not be just for an individual. It should be for the whole community because sickle cell is about all of us, not just one person. Not just one person goes through a sickle cell crisis. We all go through sickle cell crisis. Not just one person is dealing with sickle cell. We're all dealing with sickle cell. So guess what? Sickle cell should be with us as a whole and not individual. Now, from that point, I have one more thing to say. And just, I know we all go through different things at different times. Or some of us go through the same thing at the same time. We all deal with things different. I understand that. You deal with pain different than, differently than the way I deal with pain. You deal with depression, if you go through depression, differently than the way I would deal with depression. I understand that. I get that. We're all different. But, guys, we already have to deal with sickle cell and deal with the horrific things that sickle cell, sickle cell takes us through. Why do we have to be so negative about our life? Yes, we go through. I mean, we go through a lot. Yes, it hurts. Yes, at times it's hard to deal with. And yes, especially when you receive bad news, it is really hard to deal with. But you need to find an outlet, some type of way to be able to deal with what you are going through. 
these last couple of months, actually, should I say ever since last year of December, I probably should be sending somebody crazy home right about now, knocking my head up against the wall as much junk as I have went through with sickle cell. And yes, it has been hard. Yes, I've had many of nights and many of days where I have sat and just cried and say, Lord, why me, why me, why me? But guess what? In the end, I got up rejoicing and saying, Lord, I thank you. I do not have time to be on Facebook saying, oh, so-and-so said this or so-and-so said that or I'm going through this and I'm going through that and uh, I need to just go. Well, let me rephrase that. I do not want to say that. I do not want to say that lie. Let's back it up a little bit. <laughs> no matter what you go through, you do not have to be on Facebook saying, I need to just give up. Give up for what? What what are you giving up? No. I do believe our motto is never give up. No matter what you're going through, never, ever, 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 ever give up. If you have to go to your little corner in your little room by yourself and sit there and cry like a little baby, then guess what? You do that. If you have to go out by yourself and tell everybody, you know what, I just need a day to myself. I need a moment to myself. I need to think. I need to get my mind together. I need to get my thoughts together. Then guess what? You do that. But please do not get up on Facebook talking about I'm ready to give up. No, 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 no. I'm going through this. Don't nobody understand. Guess what? Yeah, we all understand. We've all been there. We all go through that. But we find a different way to deal with it. Now, I'm not saying, well, I'm not even going to say that because I know what you're going through. I may not be going through that same thing at this moment, but I know what you're going through. And to actually just continue to go on there every single day and say, I'm giving up. Well, guess what? If you're going to give up every single day, you don't need to tell us. We already know this because you posted it about, 30,000 times. And I'm, I'm not trying to, when I say this, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to get it across to you that it doesn't make sense that every single day we have to hear that you're giving up when every single day you should be saying, I'm going to fight harder and harder to live. You have a life. You have a purpose. You was put here for a reason. Find out what that reason is and use it. Since you're putting so much energy into giving up, why don't you put that same energy into saying, I'm going to stay alive. I'm going to keep pushing day by day. I'm going to keep moving forward. I mean, as much energy as you put into giving up, you might as well use it to do something powerful. Why not? And another thing, I am so tired of hearing about this person called me a liar, that person called me a liar because they don't believe that I said I'm sick or I'm going to hurt. Okay, and so what? They called you a liar. Are you really going to let that stop you from living? Are you really going to let that make you have a bad day because somebody called you a liar because they said you're not in pain? Uh, really? I can sit here and say I'm in pain. My my pain level is at a 20. And somebody next to me next to me could be calling me a liar 24-7. And guess what? It's going in this ear and out of this one because they're not feeling my pain. Their body is not my body. They don't know what I'm going through. They can say whatever they want to. People are going to talk. That's life. So what? They're talking. They're saying that I'm lying. Who gives a crap? I mean, I, I really don't. I don't care who calls me a liar. I don't care who says, oh, she's fake and she's not, she's not hurting. I, I could care less. Because for one, <laughs> you're not paying my bills. Second of all, you're not taking care of me. Third of all, they talk about Jesus Christ every single day. Guess what? He still blessed. He is still blessing me. So I could care less what somebody said. So what? Somebody said you lied on your child. If you know you're doing your job, if you know you're taking care of your child, if you know that you are being the responsible parent that you are, if you know that you are doing whatever you can to raise your child, to take care of your child, to clothe your child, to feed your child, whatever it may be. Who cares if you said you lied? Every single day, I got to see you saying, oh, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of y'all fake words. Come on now. Really? Do you want us to feed into that? Honestly, I stopped feeding to your bullcrap a long time ago. 
but you need to move on past it again like i said i know i'm gonna lose some friends over this but i don't care i, I care less because i'm tired of it it doesn't make any sense that we as a community have to go through this we're fighting over this stuff we're fighting over that stuff it doesn't make any sense no sense at all we're supposed to be a family yeah family fight true but it doesn't make any sense that we have to deal with everybody else that doesn't have sickle cell we have to deal with their nonsense in our ears 24 7. but to have to come into the community and still have to deal with the same bs makes no sense at all it is ridiculous it is past ridiculous and i am so over it i'm so over the i'm just so over it put it that way don't want to say too much i'm just over it it doesn't make sense that we are acting like this and i'm not just talking about y'all me too i've gotten into it with some warriors over something stupid that i should have just said tiffany leave it alone but no me i had to open up my mouth and continue to go back and forth with them well guess what i'm not doing that anymore uh -uh. that's energy that i could be using for something else anyways like i said whatever outlet that there is out there for us to use to break the sickle silence let's start using them and that doesn't that's that just doesn't go for you guys excuse me it goes for me too it goes for anybody in the sickle cell community if it's there for us use it as, as i always say use it and abuse it <laughs> another thing as i said before stop all the negative between us it, it we're a family it doesn't make sense that we have to go through this and we have to deal with this i mean it's just everything from i stumped my big toe to susan may did whatever yeah i know that makes no sense but hey all of that and in between is what's going on in the sickle cell community and it is ridiculous it is past ridiculous we need to come together stand as one unite as one we call ourselves Team Sickle Cell. Well, guess what? It's time for us to start acting like a team. We need to build the Sickle Cell community up instead of tearing it down. We need to be here for one another. We need to love one another. Even if I've never met any of you, I still love you like you were my real sisters and brothers because I have that connection with you guys. Which is called, sad to say, but which is sickle cell. And that connection makes me love you guys as if you were my real brothers and sisters. And when you hurt, I hurt. When you're upset, I'm upset. And I want us to be able to just reach out and love each other and not continue to fight. I, like I've said before, those that are doing those that are out there in the sickle cell community that are doing things for the sickle cell community, whatever it may be, I don't care if it ain't nothing but uploading an awareness on Facebook or if it ain't nothing but handing out a flyer or if it isn't anything but just going to your doctor's office and sitting next to somebody and saying, hey, I have sickle cell. Do you know what it is? Well, if you don't, let me tell you. Even if it's just that, putting the word out there about sickle cell, that's all that really matters. And that's all that everybody is, that we're all asking for. It's just wake up and do your part. And if you're not going to do your part, if you're not going to do any part, if you're not going to lend a helping hand, close your mouth. There's no reason for you to continue to talk and to continue to down others. We have work that needs to be done. It's not going to get done until we do it. Now, like I said, me, myself, I am doing what I can. I am doing what I call my part, or I'm trying to do my part. My part may not be what the next person part is. I may not be, be able to do what the next person is able to do, but I am able to get up and do something. And that's just like you. I don't care what you have, what resources you have, what resources you don't have. You are still able to get up and do something. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how big it is. You can do something. So wake up and do something. Again, I love you all. As I say always, you are your own hero. I am here just your helpmate. One love, my fellow warriors. 
I love you all. I hope I have not ran all of you off. <laughs> and if I have, then hopefully one day you can forgive me. If not, then I understand. But just like you have to say what you mean and feel, I do too. God bless every last one of you. And I hope you have a pain-free day and night. Bye-bye.